Well, you know who I am, and you know my show by now, and if you don't, it's Vegas Live with Ninon, and I'm Ninon. And uh, next to me, I have an incredible guy. His name is Romeo Johnson. Now, as you all know, I do not pre-interview um, any of my uh, guests because I don't like to. I, I, I like to have it spontaneous. So out of this little ear over here, I just heard something about The Voice, that he was training for The Voice, that he helps people on The Voice. I'm thinking, who is this guy? Am I going to get nervous? No, I'm not going to get nervous because I don't get nervous, Romeo. Don't get nervous. I don't get nervous. <laughs> There's just some, another person Absolutely. on my show. That's right. Actually, now it's very important because... How are you, Romeo? I'm wonderful. Doesn't he look wonderful? Look, he looks um, so happy. Of course. I love it. Why not be? Uh, well, yeah, you're on my show. <laughs> you're on your show. How would I not be happy? There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, what's all this about The Voice? What do you do for The Voice? Well, a month of many things, I was the voice coach on The Voice. I kind of helped the, from the very beginnings when they decided to bring The Voice to America. It originated in Norway. Oh, right. I didn't know that. Yeah, so it's a Norwegian thing. Well, they have a different language anyway. Exactly. So, so it's totally different. Right. So they were making such a big fuss in, uh, in uh, Norway. Uh, Mark Burnett decided to bring it to America. To America. Right. And I worked with Mark Burnett on an MTV show yeah. as a vocal coach and vocal director. So when they decided to bring the voice to America, they contacted me and asked me if I would be the vocal expert. And then that became the title of the vocal coach for all the contestants on the show. Now, so when you have a contestant coming on and you have to give them vocal, can't these people speak? Can they speak? <laughs> <laughs> some, sometimes. <laughs> some, see? Sometimes. So you have to help them, what to say, so like, they throw a question out. The, well, the, or, the way that it goes, the process was basically, uh, we would travel around the United States yes. and have auditions for singers. Pretty much like um, American Idol. Yeah, so, yeah. Right. And then we would select singers that were well enough to advance. It was like five stages of advancing before you even get to the television stage. Oh, wow. Right. So it's like so five auditions getting it. Pretty much, yeah. Because wow. we would go to certain cities. Sometimes there'd be thousands of people out there ready to audition. Well, yeah, I've seen them. Lines mm -hmm. and lines and lines. After, how do they yeah. get through all those lines and how do they see everybody? It, it, it would, we would start sometimes 6.30, 7 a.m. and finish at 9 o'clock at night. And wow. that would be uh, probably 10 rooms of different uh, oh, producers. And they go, all go into, into different rooms, so they yeah. don't, it's not just one person interviewing. Exactly. Lots of people. For the first stage. And, and then is it, it pretty easy to interview somebody you know right away whether they're going to be something or not, or do you want to give all of them a chance? Well, we give them all a chance as far yeah. as them being there. Yes. But um, I've been singing almost all of my life, and that's why um, I had a position as the vocal expert for the show and yes. the casting. Yes. So yeah, it would take me approximately Five seconds, ten oh, I was seconds. Say, five seconds, you really do know. Exactly. Isn't that awful when you think about it? I always say this to when you walk in for an audition, mm -hmm. that director or producer, whoever that is sitting there, he knows within seconds. In seconds. In seconds that I'm going to continue or not continue. So true. Isn't that, I so mean, it's true. awful, but at the same time, you know. So, but it the, is. now the problem is. How does the person they're walking in to try to do the interview, how do they know that they're not that good or how, how do they upgrade where they're from to make themselves better? Right. Well, our job is to determine whether they're good enough to even participate on the show. Yeah. My problem going in as a vocal coach, I wanted to help everybody to walk through. So sometimes people would come in and they weren't, quite, sometimes of course they obviously just weren't singing yeah, material. Yeah, yeah. And then you just have to tell them, you know, sorry, not for you. Yeah. There were other times that there were people who had nice voices, but their techniques just weren't well, up to par. Oh, they, yeah. And that's where I would, I would get in trouble all the time because the producers were like, you can't coach your room. you got to move them out of here. So I was like, they can, they can do it. They're, they're great, they're great, and I love them. <laughs> exactly. I say, yeah, but what are you going to do with them? Exactly. So we would pick the best from each city and bring them, fly them out to Los Angeles, and they compete until they narrow down to about 65 people that ended up actually going on the television actually show. Actually going on the television show. Yeah. And how long does that process take? About five weeks from what I remember, because I did the first four seasons, and yeah. uh, they may have changed it by now, but it would take about uh, three to five weeks. So it's a lot of, lot of hard work, lot of a thought, lot of hard lot work. Of thought goes into it, because yeah. this, you're, you're talking to, to a human being that thinks, that thinks they've got talent. Right. You know? many whether of them I did. think they have, and whether, <laughs> you know, whether they do or they don't, yeah. they think they have talent, otherwise yeah. they wouldn't be there. Otherwise they wouldn't be there. Now here's the thing is, figuring out 
where you fit in in the grand scheme of things because a lot of times you may be amazing in your neighborhood yeah, in your family, top. but when you start to compete with other singers around the world you mm -hmm. realize uh, <clears throat> I'm not that good you know, that's so funny because that's in business too because you have this great idea and then all of a sudden you put it out there and you see all these millions of other people have got the same idea as you. Very humbling. Uh, yeah, this happens all the time. Yeah. We, we think we've got our own idea, mm -hmm. but we haven't. Yeah. Now, um, Romeo, you do other things too. You've, you've sort of, um, give me a little bit of your life or what. Well, I, I, I was born and raised in Chattanooga, Tennessee and uh, came up in a musical family. My mother sang, so I listened to her yeah. and I... Uh, Tried sports for a brief minute, you know, and I was pretty good at that. But Sounds I like a brief second to me. Brief. <laughs> <laughs> By high school, I was like, maybe I should just go to music. You yeah. know? Um, <laughs> what but I was I, born into. <laughs> exactly, what was given Why to me. Why fake it? You know, sometimes you got to discover, just, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so once I decided music is my thing, uh, I just full-heartedly committed myself to it. I knew at an early age I'm going to have to relocate to Los Angeles. Yes. Because I just from reading credits, you know, back then we used to read credits on albums. And kids. Yeah, I don't but know you what don't albums anymore. are today, but right. But I moved to LA and I pursued it, and the career was just amazing. I went from uh, singing. I also played bass guitar, so I did a couple of tours with people like um, Sheena Easton, uh, Jody Watley, James Ingram, people like that wow. starting out. Yeah. Um, and it just. I went from one gig to another gig. To another gig. gig. Yeah, and then uh, I got hired with Janet Jackson, and that took everything to another that level. That took it all to it. And, and how do you think? <laughs> I, I think it's your personality, personally, and I'm because I, well, I don't know you. your talent, but your personality is really great. Thank you so much. Um, Janet Jackson has can choose from anybody anything. She can have anybody. Why did she choose you? Do you think? Um, I think um, the the majority of it was because I was prepared. Um, I knew you knew what you were doing. I knew I researched exactly what that job entails, and oh. I knew okay, I definitely wanted to be in shape. I wanted to look good. I wanted you know to make sure she saw my personality, everything that you said. But I was hired to be a backup singer, so I knew the main thing I wanted to do was let her know you can be confident that every night when you step on stage, I'm going to have my part. I'm going to do what you want me. I'm going, I'm going to do going exactly to do. what you want me to do, exactly. and not what I want to do, exactly. but what you want to do. Because most pe uh, singers, a lot of people, they they get these jobs, get these things, and they suddenly turn it into, well, I'm now going to do what I mm -hmm. want, Absolutely. and forgetting the person they're working for. Exactly, you were hired for a reason. You were hired because you can do what they want you to do. That's right. And you, and you followed that whole life. That's right. Learn from the experience. And if you want to do your own thing, you do that later when it's your situation. So that's a good lesson for anybody out there. You know, whoever's watching, I'm sure there's, I hope there's a few people watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are. I'm sure. Especially watching Romeo. Oh, my um, goodness. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And so they really want to concentrate on to how they can please that other person until they can get into their own niche and, and, and then yes. have that because you now have a great your know, resume of working mm -hmm. with this woman mm -hmm. and sort of doing what you how long were you with her about three almost three years really that's a long mm -hmm. time it's a long time for a tour tours don't usually last that long uh janet was right at the peak oh, of her was, yeah. um like that was during the janet album that was one of her most popular albums and we worked a lot but to go back to what you were saying i also teach people about being successful and having longevity in this business that's yes. my thing my thing yes. is to now I'm a voice coach, and um, I teach people a lot about the career, yeah. you know, how to build a career in this business, and uh, very much what you just said, you know, when you understand. Yeah. Is the business side just as important as the talent? I honestly believe it's more so. Yeah, because I believe I've it's heard more about, important. I'm not going to knock managers or to agents or any of that. I don't knock people. I, I just don't. They all do their job, and if you're going to allow them to cheat and do whatever they do with you, that's your problem, not their problem, right? <laughs> that's right. I think, because if you can't pay attention to what you've got and what you're going to do, why are you there? That's right. Is that right? That's right, I agree. Well, I he's agree. easy, isn't he? I could work for him any time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my side, absolutely. Hey, I agree with you. Yeah, because it's, it's not only, you, you can have a beautiful voice, you can dress beautifully, you can look absolutely fantastic out there, and then you lose all your money. Absolutely. Yeah, you definitely need to know the business because let's just be honest, there's millions of talented people. Tell me. You know, there's millions Tell of talented me. people. Why aren't they all successful? It's the business aspect. It's the knowledge. I, I think it's the business aspect, aspect, the knowledge, but also if you're going to do it, 
and this is anything you do, right. go into it 100%. 100%. Absolutely. Don't flip-flop around it. Like you were with Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. Three years with Janet Jackson. How did and why did he get that job? And how did you keep it for three years? Do you know why? Mm -hmm. He did what she wanted. Because it was her gig. It was her thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you, and at the same time, you're on the stage with Janet Jackson. Yeah, it was great. And it led to many other. I ended up touring with Michael Jackson as well. Of course it well. did. Which, well, what was it like? Oh, Michael Jackson. What was it like <laughs> with him? It was uh, incredible. Um, unbelievable. It was uh, the spiritual side of me kicked in more really? than the musician side. Because, and the reason I say this, not necessarily like it was such a spiritual no. atmosphere, but it's my belief system. You know, I always grew up believing that God wanted more for me than I ever wanted for myself. So yes. I had goals so that I set. He put you in places that you could actually do imagined. that. Beyond so you were given the opportunity of your own creation. This is what he created. Romeo created right, this. Right. So you created yes, this position that knew you knew that you can grow from this and do this and do Absolutely. this. Absolutely. But you were mostly prepared for everything you went into. That's it. I wanted to figure out, and as I teach my students, figure out what the job entails and be prepared. Talent is talent. I, when I auditioned for Sheena Easton as a bass guitarist, it was yeah. bass guitarists that were much better than me overall. But I knew her music better than they did. So she liked me because she's like, that's what I want. It's amazing that you got to you play. Because you did the homework. The homework. That's so exactly that's it. one big thing. Do, if you're going right. to an audition, understand that audition. Not the one you just did, or the next one you're going That's to. So the true. one you're going into. So true. And it could be they could all three of them, or ten of them, whatever, could all be totally different. Right. It's facts. I mean, every audi I mean, I I know what auditions are. I've been to many of them, and I've been turned down many times. <laughs> but then I've also been. Oh, she's wrote the one. The she's perfect one. And that's probably because the haircut was okay, and this was okay, and that was okay, mm -hmm. and the drawing that was made was okay. Right, right, right. And I fit the part. But you did the job. Yes, I did. I've always done that. I've always, I always think the job. In fact, I've always liked to overdo the job. Absolutely, you know, me to, too. To, to be there and be, I'm the same. And, and be prepared. So, well, who else have you? Oh my Fortune. gosh, a lot of people. So I toured with Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Jody Wiley, uh, Sheena Easton, Adam Ant. Oh really? Uh, oh yeah. But I have recorded with my, my God, Stevie Wonder, uh, James Ingram, Jennifer Holiday. It goes on. I've been doing it a long oh, time. No, 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 no. Yeah, and then I've coached um, celebrity artists as well. Like I coached Avril Lavigne, Elder Barge. It could go on and on and on. To coach somebody to mm -hmm. go on a stage and do what they do, mm -hmm. is that very hard, or is it depending on the person whom you're coaching? It 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 depends on who you're coaching, how hard it is. But for for me, I feel like I'm anointed to do that more so than even singing. Lovely. You know, I feel like I'm anointed to it's teach easy for, It's easier for you. I'm not going to say it's easy. It's yes, easier it's for easier you. For, it's more natural. Because, yeah, I was going to say, but is that because you get into the person? It is. I get into every individual, and I tell people that. I, I tell my clients, when you come to me, you're not going to get a cookie-cutter approach. No. My initial um, meeting with my client is to, is to figure out who you are as a person. What's your personality? What's the best way I can communicate with you? And where you're going and what you're doing. Right. And how, do you want, how do you want to do this? How and then do you I want... can cater my teachings to you. Which you are very experienced at. Very. And I'm very blessed. Uh, and that was, I think, the, the um, success that came behind teaching thousands of people for The Voice. It was different genres. It was different, different age groups. Well, everybody's different. different. We're all so different. We might all think, do you know, every single finger... Um, tip or whatever you Finger want to call print. it, print mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. different Absolutely. in the entire world. Can you believe that? Yeah. And also I want to mention to everybody out yeah. there, we all wonder, no we all wonder about Jesus, we all wonder about God and everything else. Mm -hmm. Every single person in the entire world has God in them. Absolutely. That's where he is. Absolutely. So don't think, oh, he doesn't pay attention to me, because he does. Absolutely. Amen. And you've mentioned this many times in your faith, you, and this is why I'm bringing this up, because mm -hmm. you're talking about it. Yes, ma'am. And I'm not going to say you're probably going to church all the time, and you're praying all the time, but your thoughts mm -hmm. are there all the time, aren't they? All day, every day. See? I do pray all day. I know that. <laughs> I don't even know this guy. Absolutely. But I know, I know what you're feeling. And, and everyone says, well, I didn't know that was wrong. We all know, unfortunately, we all know right from wrong within ourselves. Absolutely. We all know, well, we admit you know, we not. cut somebody off. What was their fault? Well, <laughs> we know jolly well it wasn't their fault. It wasn't, it 
powerful. So you're going to blame someone. Exactly. And I'm the only person you can ever blame for anything in your life, would you agree it would be yourself? Yourself. Yeah. yeah. So what advice would you give, especially the younger generation, because I love them. I've got all the younger generation, I've got their backs. I love them. Me too. I absolutely, whatever you are doing and whatever you are, wherever you are, I don't care what country you're from, mm -hmm. I love you all. What advice would you like to give them as coming into a very different, strange world? You know, I do this every day with, with young artists, and the one thing that I emphasize is the thing that's different now versus before, we took pride in learning. Yes, we, we did. We took pride in learning, and we took pride in crediting who we learned from. from. You know, every time we would get a compliment, we would go, oh, thanks, man, such and such taught me that. You know, I learned that from this person. We yes, were so yes, proud. we always do that. We'd always do Yes. Yeah, we're so proud of who we learned from, yes. you know. And um, today, for some reason, I guess, with the, with the quick celebrity and the quick popularity of... Um, social media internet social media yeah it's like they they think i see this you know this person who has put years and years into building their fame yeah. i can dress like them talk like them and then i can just be them but i don't want to talk about anyone who ever helped me i want to make it look like i did this i did own. this whole thing myself well Absolutely. let me tell you something out there if you put that <laughs> message out there you're gonna get nowhere that's so true because you know i've got a famous saying i have a card like everybody on the back of the card said nothing happens without you i like it nothing happens you can't sit in this chair unless somebody made it so that means somebody is somebody completely away from what you do that's right anything that happens i can't do this show unless i have maria and i have everybody i can't do it right you can do nothing alone out there so true Absolutely not. So true. Um, one more question, because I know they're getting anxious for me. Um, what is the greatest achievement or the greatest thing you think of out there that you've done and you, you kind of think, this really made me happy and felt good? Um, Probably many, but... Well, I'll give you two. The greatest achievement, aside from music, is raising my son. I'm, I've Isn't been that beautiful? Back yeah. to the family. Yeah, I'm a single dad. I raised my sons, and oh, they're amazing young men. Oh my god! Uh, so that's I'm most proud Is of. Is he a singer? They both have beautiful voices. Have no interest in being musicians. But they've been around it their whole life, so they've been jaded. But they're doing something oh, else. My. Oh, yeah. One is, doing uh, their own thing. Mm -hmm. one is a massage therapist and one is a certified dental assistant. So they're, they're, they're just great they guys. They love what they do. They yeah. love what they do. Oh, um, beautiful. When it comes to entertainment, um, my greatest achievement um, is being in this industry over 30 years and resist, maintaining my integrity, resisting peer pressure, temptations, and not realizing at the time, but now realizing what a light that's been for other people around. What you chose was yeah. the right place. Yeah, you know, it's funny because you, yeah, you, you, you do choose. these things in my early years, you know, you tend Difficult. to think that they're looking just like, he's a square, he's this. But then years go by and these guys come back and tell you, man, I so admire, you know, what, what you've you done. Did and and I stopped did doing this because I saw how well, you handled how business. How you did it and how you, I've, I've taken an example out of your book, put it into Absolutely. my book and I've, I've achieved what Absolutely. you've achieved and done it well. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we like to copy other people and we think, ah, oh, they're great and they're wonderful. But, you know, sometimes they fall through the cracks and they're not so, also being your own human being and, right. and knowing also right from wrong. Um, how can anybody get in touch with you to get this beautiful voice and to understand what this whole thing is all about? What this is all about and how you can get in touch with me is that I've been, in La I've been from Las, Ve uh, Las Angeles, moved to Las Vegas about nine years ago. And I mm -hmm. decided to just relax and chill out. Now uh, I have a number of private students that I teach here in Vegas. Love working with them, loving their appreciation. And I decided now to... Uh, to make it more known. I want people to know that I'm here, young singers, what, whatever age. If you're a singer, you want to Well, you're on the right show. There you go. So I want them to know I'm here. Um, I'm not arrogant, but I consider myself one of the best anointed teachers in this game that, that you can get as and far as singing. the reason how he, why he says that is because it's true, because he always has verification for, of it all. He knows he, from all the different people he's taught and what he's done, and he's always stayed in that alignment of doing it right, no cheating, no lying. Absolutely. 
and trusting trusting yourself absolutely and you, you you've re- that's been your that's been your main thing Romeo trusting yeah. yourself trusting God and trusting myself yes trusting God because God's in you absolutely he's part of you he does absolutely. He, he knows what's going to go yes on you know what you're going to do <laughs> absolutely sometimes yeah you so you can reach me at uh, www.romeojohnson.com or uh, Romeo Johnson booking uh, at gmail.com um you know, the number is 818-744-4157. But I have a, a great new team now with the LaGuardia team that's going to be helping me do a lot of things. So, yes. you know, uh, you know you LaGuardia guys, is absolutely amazing. They're on our side, too. Of they're, course. They're also you part of our team. Yeah, them. We're, all, we're all kind of sort of mixed in together, which is absolutely amazing. I've known uh, Leslie LaGuardia for many, many years. Yeah. And um, she's um, a, a, an incredible woman because uh, a lot of people don't do what they say. They say what they do. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys know Lisa, then you know how to contact me. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Romeo. Thank you You've so much. You've been an inspiration to uh, any generation, but of course, you know, I love the younger generations. I can't help that. I had a show for 16 years, Voices of Tomorrow, wow. for the younger generation. That's beautiful. And I taught them, and that's where all those awards come from. I saw that. It's beautiful. <laughs> <those> awards, <laughs> because he went into my office and went, Oh. I loved it. I yeah, loved it. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've done. That's my that's my acknowledgement of what I've done. Um, thank you for watching Vegas Live with Nina. Um, if you want to be on the show, don't forget to get in touch with social media shows. Um, Maria Perez and we'll have you on and you can explain what you do, how you do it and where you do it and of course Vegas Live with Nina is always out there to help our younger generation of course and the entertainment world but any world out there we can help you with. We'll be right back with our next guest. Take care.